Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this March 29th. And uh, we're looking at some nice weather today. Turned out nice yesterday after the clouds finally broke away and the sun came through. And we ended up at 61 degrees officially at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened at 420 yesterday afternoon. 64, the average high. So we were just three degrees shy of average. 42 was our low, 40 the average low. We were two degrees above the average low for the day. And a year ago, we had a high of 46 and a low of 26 back in 2015. No rainfall past 24 hours. Time check here, 425 a.m. Central Time on your Tuesday morning. Looking at uh, some warmer weather coming in for today with lots of sunshine. Checking satellite and radar views right now. Everything is all clear. A few clouds left over in far eastern Kentucky at this hour. Mesonet temperatures, as I look at the map here, uh, mostly um, upper 30s to low 40s. There are some uh, peaks and valleys here and there, depending on elevation this morning, as high pressure is in control. And that has a lot to do with the current temperature where you may live. Like, you know, the usual cool spot is Burksville because that particular Kentucky Mesonet site is at a lower elevation down in the valley next to the Cumberland River. So it reads a little bit cooler than some of the others. They're currently at 34 degrees, while just up the road at a higher elevation in Metcalf County. Uh, in Edmonton, they're at 42, almost 43 degrees at this hour. And we're at 42. Uh, we're at 42 here in Bowling Green at this hour. But everybody today, thanks to a more east to southeast wind, is going to warm up. We're going to see lots of sunshine. And we're looking for a high today of 66 degrees. For tonight, clear, not as cold as it has been. Overnight low at 43 as those south more southeasterly winds begin to kick in and for the day on wednesday it will be breezy and warmer with increasing clouds much of the day should be dry it looks like any shower activity is going to come in late on wednesday after a high of 75 but we are looking at several rounds of rain some of the rain can be heavy too as we get into wednesday night and through the day on thursday We've got high pressure. The high pressure ridge, which is over us right now, is going to move east and along the eastern seaboard. We have a cold front approaching out of the plains, but it's still way back to the west. And so what they're, the two of those are going to work together really in tandem to uh, just uh, siphon in abundant Gulf of Mexico moisture as the high pressure moves east. And it starts to bring in that flow out of the Gulf and then out ahead of our low pressure system and the cold front out of the plains. It's almost just acting as a, you know, like a straw. It's just kind of, uh, you know, uh, sucking in all the rain, all the moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. And even way before the cold front gets here, we're going to see abundant moisture coming in. That's why we're going to see several rounds of rain and uh, some thunderstorms as we get into Wednesday night and during the day Thursday. Uh, At the moment, we are under just a, well, not even a slight risk. We're going to see an isolated chance that we could see a couple of strong thunderstorms, maybe one or two possibly severe, depending on how much instability we get on Thursday. Now, here's the setup. As we get clouds increasing, a breezy southerly flow on Wednesday, Wednesday night, we'll get down to 60 showers and thunderstorms at 90%. Pretty good odds that we're going to get rained on here. And then as we get into Thursday, which is uh, the last day of March, it looks like it's going to be a bit soggy all day. 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely again with a high of 76. But then temperatures will begin to fall as soon as that cold front begins to pass through the area by uh, Thursday evening. We'll get down to 48, so it's not going to get cold. It's just going to get a little bit cooler. 
But I think there could be a round of thunderstorms in the morning, then a break, followed by the actual passage of the cold front as we get into Thursday night with another round of showers and storms. And it all depends on if we see any sunshine between round one in the morning, round two in the evening as to how bad those storms could become later in the day. So that's something that we will watch, of course, and uh, keep up with uh, as far as the threat for any uh, strong to severe storms. Although it doesn't look like a widespread threat here, uh, something to certainly keep an eye on. But as we get into the first day of April, April Fool's Day, Friday, no fooling, it will be mostly sunny and a high of 66, a good-looking day. Now, we're going to have a little weak boundary slip through uh, between Friday night and Saturday morning uh, that will tend to just cool us down just a bit but not bring any more rain. So Saturday, we're calling for sunshine, slightly cooler with a high of 60. Then Sunday, sunny, 67. Monday, sunny and 72. So the weekend is looking fantastic. Uh, temperatures fairly seasonable for this time of the year, so uh, really no worries about uh, any more rain threats after we get past, uh, say, Thursday evening. Uh, Latest update on what happened, as I was discussing here yesterday, uh, over in Christian County near Crofton uh, on uh, Sunday night, Easter Sunday, a preliminary EF2 tornado. Uh, did some damage there. We had coverage on it last night. Uh, follow up, you know, some barns destroyed and um, uh, some people uh, not seriously injured, just uh, some minor cuts and scrapes uh, from that brief tornado touchdown. The Paducah National Weather Service office went out yesterday, did a damage survey. They're going to follow up with their uh, final report today, and we'll see, uh, you know, just how long of a path that uh, tornado had how wide it was it was one of those uh, just very brief kind of uh, situations uh, that did produce a uh, ef2 rated tornado preliminary of course but that could change uh, as their final report comes out today we'll see about that Uh, just one of those oddities from uh, the storms that came through on sunday night all right that will do it for this edition of the podcast god bless as always and thank you so much for listening know the weather before it knows you have a great day i'll see you live at 5 30 on a.m kentucky 11 a.m on midday streaming live to the wbko app and wbko.com then join me later today for the chris allen radio show classic hits sam 100.7 fm between 3 and 7 p.m